Alchemists, welcome back to our series on Phoenix. Now I'm going to show this example uh, on Phoenix Live View, but this should be applicable basically to any uh, Phoenix app with a form. Uh, what I wanted to show is how to actually show um, bootstrap errors from within uh, Phoenix. So if we go back to our Live View app, we're using bootstrap within here, you can see. Now something that is a little bit uh, annoying is that if we put an invalid email address, we're showing just this black text. Now that's okay, but it's not actually using the bootstrap format. And so how to do that is quite simple. We can just go to our app. We go to our, uh, our web part of our app. We go to the view section and put this down. And within here, we have error helpers. And we just need to, to change this to use a div. And the class is called uh, invalid feedback. OK, just invalid feedback. And now, if we refresh our page and we do this, well, we can see that everything is working properly and our uh, text is actually missing. So if we go over here and we check over here, well, it's there, but this is this not being displayed. That's because Bootstrap requires that, I believe it's requiring that the previous tag, this one, have uh, is invalid on it. And now the question is, we can't mark everything as is invalid, of course, right? We need to dynamically add that. So how do we do that? Well, we can add a function to our error helpers, where we just append that if we actually have an invalid data. So we can just add a new doc. We can say uh, appends bootstrap error error class to input if there's an error. And this is called add error class. Now we need to add in the form, just like above, the field again, and also the original class name, or classes if you have that. And then we just use if keyword dot as key, and we pass in the form.errors, which is the same as we do over here, and then we pass in the field. Again, this is pretty much the same as we do over here. And so if this is there, this should return the errors, or return a true. Uh, in that case, we would take our class names, and then we would append, add a space, is invalid. Otherwise, if not, then we just, that's annoying. Then we just return the class itself. Pretty simple. Now what we do over here is we just copy this and we go to our templates, go to our form, and then we can just simply start adding this in. So add error class pass in the form with just the F and the key, which in this case is password. <clears throat> Add error class F email. And then finally, of course, add error class F that is it. So now if I do that, we have some nice error highlighting and the error format is coming up. It's probably because it requires, as you can see, it requires that is invalid feedback is next to it. So this is how you add uh, bootstrap errors to your project. Again, I'm Alan from Plangoro. 
Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.